Greetings, my loves. I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. I thank you all for giving me the chance and subscribing to my YouTube. We're going up and I'm about 50 away from the 1000 mark. And I thank you all for subscribing and giving me a chance and giving me a voice. And I think I, I chose to speak tonight because I feel like that is exactly what we are all missing. A voice. And I feel like this is the age of information and it's time that we all have a voice. And with that being said, I just wanted to say that I, I do be watching a lot of the dude Dane Calloway's videos. And I listen to my brother Dwayne Hendricks. I want to shout out the Society of the Ankh. I want to shout out my form, Black Issues. And yes, it's with an apostrophe S. If you look up, look it up on Facebook, it's Black Issues with an apostrophe S. Okay, that was the only way I can get my page public published. So that's what I what I did. Put the apostrophe. And I also want to give a shout out to Supreme Science Society of the Ankh, Black Issues. Okay, um, I don't want to forget anything. <gasps> Women, un women of the struggle. Um, that's the page because I feel like women are. Women is women are just the fire. Women are just the spark. Women are just the match that we need. Um, I don't want to get too off topic because I know I can go into one topic and then go from another topic, and so on and so on, and I'll be just bouncing back and forth, but. I am going to try to stay on topic. Anyway, um, I do be listening to the dude, Dane Calloway. Um, well, I have heard his information before. And it just makes logical sense. I feel like the only way to conquer people is by dividing the people. And... There was not just black slave enslaved people, there was white enslaved people as well. And if you want to say enslaved, we just talk we are talking about the mind basically. We are talking about the mind. My scenario was just think of this. You know how nowadays I'm from Baltimore. Baltimore is a very cruddy city. Nowadays it's so easy. For someone to give you up for something better. Whether it's somebody who done a crime with you and they give you up for more, to lessen their sentence or for no sentence at all, for a monetary gain or anything. That's just how slavery probably was. You had people that coming in and they are using the Bible as a tool to pretty much divide and conquer and this is no disrespect to anybody's religion um because i do believe that we all coexist and i that's just not something i, I don't want to offend anybody but that's pretty much what happened we were given something well our ancestors were given something while being stripped of their freedom of look at look at what's still going on the same thing that's going on today was going on years ago this is exactly how the world was there was no physical chains yeah people were you know jail and jail and things like that but i believe the mind was more so the prison that people that couldn't escape from um you know, he mentioned in his video that what happened was they captured kids. They would capture the kids. Why? Because right now, if I was to give my child a, a religion, a creed, an honor, or anything I put into my child's head, my son is going to, my child is going to grow thinking that's right. Thinking that's what, what he should do, what he should be. Or whatever the case may be because I'm his first teacher and he got his knowledge from me and he knows that no matter what anybody else could tell him what his mother told him is right 
So that's pretty much what's going on today and what's been happening for years. And that's why we have a lot of psychological locks. The only way we could escape this prison is to either take over the system, get rid of the system. I don't know, God. I don't even want to speak on that for real. I don't even know. But it's just so much damage done um, that we have yet to get together as a community and be like, oh, I want to pay. Y'all know why we can't get reparations? For one, we can't, we don't know. We don't know what nationality we really are. We went from being called Negro, oh, I don't want to be called Negro, that's derogatory, to being called African American, to being called Black. Black is the color of a crayon. There's no such thing as an African American. We are so lost, and it comes with the lack of knowledge. Like, it really comes with the lack of knowledge. Like, we are, we just been conditioned. And it's for a reason. It's for a reason. I guarantee you, if I went to Harvard or Yale or any of the top schools, I guarantee you it wouldn't be teaching the same thing as a regular HBCU. The HBCUs are being compromised by the Saudis. There's really no more HBCUs. I don't know. I just feel like... Guys, putting Biden back in office will be one of the worst things we have done.